Okay, so uh, you'll notice uh, fans of Anime Studio um, and the videos I've made for that, you'll notice this looks very similar. Um, basically, this is the rig setup that I got working for Anime Studio, um, and I got it working inside of Maya, which is interesting because Maya really doesn't have an effective masking technique. So, as everybody knows, um, my eye system that I normally set up uses an actual sphere and you just uh, move the pivot point back so that it pivots like an eye actually would and so you have an actual eyeball inside of a socket and then you animate the uh, you know the lid coming down and the brow and all that stuff and however you set it up you set it up um, the amorph targets or bones or curves or whatever um, now this is kind of an add-on to the sticker method where I basically have a flat object and um, I'll show uh, wireframe on shade as you can see I have a flat object here and it uh, you basically just stick on whatever you want now for this in particular you have those nice edge loops uh, so that it can close effectively um, so this is a 3D eye except it's a sort of 2D flat thing so while it is you know in 3D it's not an actual sphere if you notice each little piece in fact everything about this is pieced together um, I did this as kind of a test to see you know kinda of how it would work so if we turn this on you'll notice we can actually activate individual geometrical pieces for all of this okay they're all individual pieces which allows me some really interesting things so uh, let's take a look at it in render so we can see what it looks like you notice we're getting some glow and some nice uh, you know transparency effects it looks pretty decent for you know an eye um, so anyway I'll show that uh, you know it works like this now notice that we're getting sort of this fleshy look you know as it looks around it seems as though uh, the uh, you know eyelid itself is moving and it gives a really nice you know uh, impression that it's an actual eyeball and there's something inside of there when there's not as you can see okay um, we can turn that off if need be okay as with all my eye systems um, we can take this object and we can scale it up and down um, make like blobs really you know down like that okay so we can do all that fun stuff um, let's put that back to one um, so let's go ahead and activate eye flesh uh, 0 0.4 again as a basic um, so I'll go ahead and show the basic um, eye mover we can turn eye mover on and what that does is it moves the entire thing um, so let's say you wanted to position it, uh, you know, higher, and then you wanted to uh, rotate it down like this, and then have it squint. You know, you could do that, and then you know, drag that out like that, or whatever. Or opposite, um, you could like move this over here, and then rotate it down, and then get that effect. And then we would grab a brow mover. And brow mover can be positioned uh, in position and, and you know like that uh, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to something um let's try like a just a normal squint a little bit and then let's go ahead and activate um, the eye tweak okay so we'll turn eye mover off and go to eye tweak and then you'll notice that we can create uh, some interesting things such as uh, uh, this kind of thing um, that's, that's actually pretty decent Let's go to brow tweak and we'll turn brow mover on as well okay so by selecting this the entire system moves uh, maybe let's maybe try that 
And then you say, all right, I don't want to select the brow movers. We turn that off. And notice that it's independent. And, you know, we're getting some really interesting results. Um, turn brow mover back on. You know, we can position it, you know, away from the eye, closer in, so on and so forth. And when you take a look, you notice that we're getting uh, pretty interesting results. So uh, this is sort of a flat 2D method, and it uses sort of a masking approach. And as you can see, you're getting a lot of power uh, with this eye setup here. So you can get like eye darts and everything else. And the interesting thing about this is once this is set up, you can just cycle between different eye textures um, to all of your geometry. And uh, the brow does what the brow does. And the uh, you know different eye textures would all work with this rig setup. So you only have to rig it once and then just cycle out the texture information um, to uh, the various planes. And then, you know, when I move this up, you know, it would move up uh, all the eyes because they'd all be skinned to that one bone setup that I have and it would work really well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and zero everything out. Um, so I just wanted to show this uh, just real quick so people could see. See, I mover, I think we need to unscale. Um, and you can turn it on and off all so that you know all you see is whatever you want so it's pretty interesting